Hello everybody, it's me, ProGamecuber17, and last video we looked at F12. So today we will be looking at OL. So OL stands for Orientation of the Last Layer. And the actual OLL has more than 50 algorithms that you have to memorize. And starting off by learning this normal OLL is going to be really hard. So in this video we're going to be looking at something called Tulip OLL, which has much less algorithms and you just solve every case in two parts instead of one. Okay, the first part of Tulagolo is making the cross on the yellow side. Before we start, we need to know four moves, and these four moves are gonna be used a lot in this video, and it's gonna be R, U, R prime, U prime. Or you can say it as the right side clockwise, top face clockwise, right side counterclockwise, top face counterclockwise. You need to know those four, four moves. Just keep on practicing those and then come to these algorithms because you're going to need to know how to do those four moves fast and efficient. Okay, now to the first case. The first case is when you have an L like that. A backwards L. You want to keep the backwards L in these front two rows on this bottom right side, and you want to bring down the. You want to turn the first two layers clockwise, and then you know those four moves. We want to do that. R U R prime U prime. Then undo those front two layers. We turned it clockwise, so we undo it and do counterclockwise, and we would have the cross. The next algorithm to make the cross is when you have a straight line. Put it to the line goes from left to right, and in this case, without turning the first two layers, we just turn the first layer clockwise, do those four moves, and then undo that front face move. And we would have the cross. Next and final one to make the cross is when we only have the middle piece. We don't have any of these four middle pieces yellow facing up, but we just have the center. What we do for this is we combine both of those algorithms. We first do the first, the second one where we have the straight line and we turn the front face, do these four moves and undo the front face and it will come to the L. So we do that with the same thing with the L. Turn the front two faces, do those four moves and undo that for the front face move. And we would have the cross. Now we can move on to put it making the yellow face completely with the corners. Okay, so this is the first OLL place, where it's almost like an arrow, where and on these two pieces, there's a yellow piece facing towards you on the left side. What you do for this is you bring up the left side, and then you turn the front face counterclockwise, top face counterclockwise, bring down this left face, Turn the front face counterclockwise again. Bring up this left face one more time. Turn the top row twice. And bring down this left face. And you would have the top side. The next algorithm is the same thing, but this time when you look at the arrow, the yellow face facing towards you is on the right side. You do the same thing but on the right side. Bring up the right side. Top face clockwise. Once, bring down the right side. Top face clockwise again. Bring up the right side for the last time. Turn the top face twice and bring down the right side. Okay, so this is the next algorithm. When it's just a cross and on both sides, the two yellow corner pieces on each side are facing away from each other. So what you do for this one, it's like headlights on both sides. So what you do for this one is, just like I said, you need to know those four moves. That comes in use on this algorithm. You turn the front face then you do that four move algorithm three times. So once, two times, and three times, and then undo that front face move. Okay, so this is the next algorithm where there's two headlights like that, and then there's two pieces facing away from each other, and there's only the cross on the top. What you do is you get the right side, make the headlights face towards the left, bring up the right side, turn the top row twice, bring up the right side twice, Turn this top face so that these two white pieces that were in the back come to the left side. 
turn this right face twice so you can see this white piece turn this top row clock counterclockwise so that this pe the the white piece will match up turn this right face twice turn the top row two more times so they match up in the back and bring down this right face the next algorithm is where you have like two arrows but they're facing both areas it's almost like an eight a number eight and there's two um the two corner pieces facing towards facing away like in a in an angle you want to keep it so that you can see them in this case you can't so you make them so that you can see them then make it so that you just like look down so you face the white face and so you can still see one of your yellow pieces right there and what you want to do is you want to bring down this right side turn this top row clockwise bring up this right side turn the bottom row clockwise and then bring down this right face turn the top row counterclockwise bring up this right face turn the bottom row counterclockwise and then now if you look at the top it'll be solved okay so this is the next algorithm where it's like two two of the three layers completed and these these two corner pieces that are facing away from each other put them on the left side and then look at the bottom of the side with um with the, with the still the way it was without rotating it and then what you want to do is we want to bring down this left side then you want to push this top row towards that left side bring down the right side push this top row towards the right side bring up the left side same thing push it towards there bring up the right push it towards there look up and your yellow side will be okay solved. so this is going to be your last al uh, algorithm it's so in this case there's two layers solved with this piece here and the two corners are facing towards you like headlights and then you turn off this right side twice turn the bottom row clockwise bring down this right row once turn the top face twice bring up the right face turn the bottom row back to counterclockwise bring down the right face turn the top row twice and bring down this right side and you would have the yellow side solved and that's all for this video in the next video we'll be looking at pll